What's going on, guys? So this is a final uh, addendum thing to my custom local type. I know, like, wait, didn't you review that like a long ass time ago? Yes, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, mostly money, and uh, just being busy and everything like that, I have not been able to ship it out until now. So I'm getting it ready. So about to say goodbye to this thing that took me over a year and a half to build. Um, but I could not do the super special thing I wanted to do for Reese. I might be able to do some form of it later with some help, but I'm not sure. Um, at this point, I kind of don't worry about it. But because this is going all the way across the ocean, um, I wanted to do something special to at least make sure that it got there. So I picked up an Apache case. Or it's kind of a... Um, uh, what is it called? Um, <clears throat> I forgot. Either way. So, it's actually made for guns. Uh, let's just be honest with you. Now, I bought an oversized one just in case because I wasn't sure how I was going to do this. But I was nervous because I thought I was going to have to cut my own foam shape. So, that's the whole point is I wanted some nice dense foam to make sure that the thing got there in time. Cool thing is, this is pinch and peel foam so you can see here it's got a little like half inch grid and all you got to do is just like pull pull the thing out for the shape and then basically all I'm gonna do is lay this guy out along with the weapons and stuff and I'm gonna make a custom shipping package just for this thing now that was part of my original intent except I was gonna put it in its own uh, normal box which I guess in theory I could potentially do because uh, that's roughly the size of the actual HG box oh which uh, I have right here Look, I have an, I have an, an HG box but in theory if I had a thinner one it would probably work because this is about like uh, what inch and a half some odd foam so, but either way, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out, figure out the layout I'm going to do it in, trace the design I need to, so that I know how much foam to pinch out, and then um, also going to make a small little hole for this guy, uh, because that was supposed to go to him as well. Now, I was going to do it in the whole packaging, but not as good. Plus, packaging kind of pointless for this little guy. So, I mean, I felt bad that it's taken me this long to do it, but sometimes that happens. And because this entire like December, I meant to get this shipped out so we could have it by Christmas. This December has not worked out at all like it was supposed to. So this is like me trying to make up for it. If nothing else, he gets a really cool like hard case, pelican case. That was the word I was looking for, pelican case. So I know he probably doesn't need guns or anything like that. I will make sure I put labels on it that says not a firearm. You know, so that people know. All right, so this was interesting. Um, basically, ah, so I took out the different bits of foam. As you can see, it's basically like a two by one, or actually almost a three by one little strips. And I've actually backfilled with some of the foam that kind of came out of there to kind of make it sit there and be like super presentable. That was awesome. And then like a little, actually the, the plastic that was holding in the D10 is retaining the extra little bits here. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I like this. This is this came out already better than I expected. And you know, obviously th this goes out to Reese. Um, like I'm putting in some effort. Like this is the thing that I wanted to do to some degree, but like I said, originally, I thought I was gonna have to do this into an actual box. Um, but actually having a full on case to do this is fun. Now, mind you, this thing is like even deeper than it could be. So I'm actually gonna put the D10 little guy like in the bottom layer underneath this because it's got a foam layer up top. So I think that might be what I do, I'm not sure. Then again, I might do something else just slightly different to make sure it's protected. Um, good thing is this is a hard, hard case. It's not gonna get like crushed or anything. But I might, because you can see 
like here. So this is a whole other layer. Obviously it's meant for guns and ammo, so you want it to be thick. So there's a bottom layer still down there. So I might put this, or put the actual Gundam further down in the thing. And so that's underneath, underneath. To be like really tight because it's got the top foam layer here for keeping stuff in place so i'm gonna go ahead and do a little cutout for that guy and uh go from there okay so got that done i've added an extra little surprise in there for him once again trying to make it work the fact that it's taken me so damn long to do this now i'm going to put the big boy in there very carefully Part of me wanted to load this thing upside down um, so that it would fit a little bit better, but I don't know if I can do that. Uh, that's a good burp. Because um, one thing I don't have is a top cover for it, so I might I might put like just a sheet of paper over it just to be careful, you know. But that's gonna be it, but hold on real quick. All right, there it is in all its glory. It's been here for a long time. And it's gotta finally go to its home. Cool thing is like that just closes, latches, and I'm going to zip tie it shut so that it's careful. Um, it should be pretty well waterproof. It does have a like waterproof knob here. I guess it sort of seals it somehow. I don't know how it works, but uh, I'm not too concerned with that. It's gonna go on like an airplane anyways. So, oh. <sighs> There's foam everywhere now. But that's gonna be it. Finally, the saga of this thing is done. And it's finally going home. And hopefully I can do, like when it finally gets to him, I can include a video at the end of this. So, yay, I actually get him once he gets it. It is very early in the morning, and I just had this arrive in the post, which, as far as I can tell, is the custom local type. Thank goodness. Right. Uh, of course, he covered it with paper. Oh, it looks amazing. I actually have to look at it with my own eyes. Way too tired for this. <laughs> oh, it actually looks really nice in this. Oh, fucking worth the wait, Jesus. Right, um, I have been told that there are things underneath which I do not know about. Move this. Ah, that's what he said. Actually looks quite nice. Did not expect to get that. Head fell apart a little bit, but it still looks really nice. Fair enough. It's a really nice detailed model kit, actually. Got really well in my collection, actually, because I'm getting into the SD line. And then that's what I previously won. Not bad with cameras. The Beast Box. After the mass battle mix, I've never tried them before. Looks pretty cool though. That is great. Definitely worth the wait, so... Can't wait to mess about with all that. Alright, so... I got that video from Reese this morning. It was kind of a stressful thing because he's running the tracking and it showed that it was in the UK, but then like the actual UK tracking showed it was in Chicago still. So it was a day, slightly a day later than expected, um, but I'm glad it got there safe. I am concerned that that like there's like a piece of that gun Gundam on the bottom section that kind of came off. That's weird. It was not in that shape when I packed it. Um, I am slightly concerned that they did open it in, you know, to inspect it or something, because I saw that there was foam missing from underneath the local type under its legs. 
Um, there was definitely foam there from what I recall. Like you could see through to the Gundam underneath. And um, so I think Customs may have opened it. I need to ask. I did not ask Reese if the zip ties were still on it. Um, so they may have opened it and, you know, done whatever. It looked like everything made it intact. All the little other pieces that were contained seemed to all be there. It's just I was real concerned that that one piece popped off but presumably everything's good so that is the final end to the custom local type saga it took forever to get there it was incredibly expensive to ship to ship um i did not make reese pay the whole thing um <laughs> just a little bit honestly uh because i thought it was going to be significantly cheaper to ship um but the best option was still the most expensive thing ever to ship that i've ever shipped any and um so but for future contests i or giveaways or whatever i will not be doing international stuff like this it's one thing to have a prize like a gift card or something like that that i don't have to physically ship you know it could send you a, co a code online for amazon or something like that but um most of the time i'd make international guys pay for their own shipping and that was the original cause for this but due to how expensive this was i'm like i'm not going to make him pay that full price it's ridiculous he did i did charge him a little bit not the whole cost um i even told him i was like look this is what it cost but as you guys saw it was a good sturdy case not in a box made it all the way across the sea pretty good um except for i don't understand what happened with the gunpla uh why that little piece came off it looked like the back of the shoulder and i'm confused about that um, but everything else seemed to be intact, so yay for that. I'm glad Reese got it. Um, I do miss it to some degree. It's kind of funny. Um, I had it for so long, and I worked on it for so long. Like, it was always here on my desk. One thing I was bad about is out of sight, out of mind. So that's one reason why it took so long to finish in the first place. One, I got hung up on the building of the legs, if you watch the build logs. Um... <clears throat> but after that, it was like making sure that I could see it so that I would work on it. And this time around in shipping, it, I knew it was going to be a little bit more expensive to ship. I was working on a side thing to include, like a real special thing to include. And it didn't get to happen due to just circumstances and things basically falling through. So the custom case so to speak for it was what i did as an extra option i might still do one extra thing for him uh in myself at least and that is to get a print and or a shirt of the artwork i i made for the thumbnail using the pictures i might just do that just for the heck of it um but he's gonna put it on display you know i'm glad he liked the sd that i included that was just for the fun of it um, and to just make it a little bit more worth it. I got all this extra foam. Might as well put some extra thing in it. Um, but I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad it's done. If I ever do another custom giveaway like this again, I'm going to make sure it's something that's finished. <laughs> so we don't have this issue in the future. Um, and that it's definitely not going to be international. So Reese was basically a one-time deal. Um... So I'm glad it's over there. I'm glad it's safe and it was worth his wait. Because it was worth it to me to finally finish the damn thing and how well it came out. But now I want to either redo it better or do something else. Like, you know. And technically speaking, I still have another local type if I wanted to. And I guess if I wanted to do one not white and blue version, I've got those too. So. There's that. But guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll catch you next time.